are not oh. the father. Are you serious? I swear that's a lie. The DNA doesn't oh, lie. So God, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh no. When your fiance came in the house, then you hid this other guy in the- Cause in I didn't want to fight the start. And your honor, she was what? already married when they got engaged that my son didn't know about. Well, Down I texted me. And, and with you, just with you. Because I was texting another you. guy. With because you. I was texting another guy. The same while he was guy. in a place filling out a job application. Guy. That was but his excuse to stop for looking for a job. job. In this paternity court episode, Mr. Lang brought his wife to the dock for the alleged infidelity done with his best friend from the sandbox. But the mommy refuses to play along with such nasty accusations accusations. It looks like both parties are at polar ends. Good cause, it calls for drama. Here is how the session went. Now, Ms. Lang, I'm gonna start with you. Why are you so certain this child isn't your son's? Because I found out that Miss Brown slept with my son's best friend from the sandbox best friend, and uh, I don't think she know whether it's my son's or Mr. Dixon's. Mm. But the twist is that she wasn't the only one to blame. It could have been that another potential father was using baby mama to pull up revenge on Mr. Lang because they were best friends. And wait for it, news flash. Mr. Lang had cheated with 50 to 100 girls, so now you know that daddy isn't innocent either. Mr. Lang, when you found out she was pregnant, you were happy about it? Yes, ma'am. Did you have any doubts at that time? Not at that time, no, I didn't. And what made you start to have doubts? When, Miss, when Mr. Dixon got in the picture, and he had told me to stop messing with her because the, the baby she's pregnant with could possibly be hit. Oh. Oh, so Leaving her she voice informs mail. Yeah. you that she's having a baby and you're the father and you are happy about it. Yes. Then you get a phone call from Mr. Dixon. Mm. Well, Mr. Dixon sure knows when to make a phone call. Plus, adding more to this mix, the grandma also jumped with her chocho -cho of, it's not your baby. Although Miss Rounds claimed to be sleeping with only Mr. Lang, her man was not ready to trust baby mama's words. Did or did not sleep with this best I friend? I did not. Okay. And I am very sure that this is his baby and we spoke about it. I haven't slept together with no one else and exactly Exactly that time is around the exact time I got pregnant. You say that's your that window in, of conception? Yes, that was in middle August, end of August. And so now the baby's born? Yes. Mr. Lang was there when yes. the baby was born? Yes, he was there and the so whole time. He signed delivery. the birth certificate? Yes, yes, he did. After this, the defendant pointed out the real reason behind the denial. Well, it was the meddling mother of the potential biological father and her unwanted interference in the relationship. The baby mama even had proof of it. Was that even necessary? Every time me and him would have an argument about him cheating, his mother would get into it, either try to argue with me or try to lie for her son, which she can, I don't doubt, but don't be in my face telling me a lie. Just go go away with your son. Like, don't get on Facebook talking mess. She'll get on Facebook, oh, that giraffe, I don't like her. Like, girl, like, I don't know, I can't explain it. She would always get into it. She, she called you a giraffe. Never. Anyways, to end this drama without getting sidetracked from the main theme, it was clear that a child was stuck in the midst of grown-up drama, which was unfair. But hey, this is where the paternity court steps in. Let's see what the envelope holds. Mr. Lang. You are not oh. the father. Are you serious? <laughs> you have that okay. kind of language in the That's a lie. <laughs> oh that my is a God. lie. <laughs> I oh boy, I bet you didn't see that coming. Well, that walk from the dock to the waiting room has been the longest road in this woman's life. However, we also felt bad for the guy who so far was busy playing daddy. If Mr. Lang is not the father, who is baby Janelle's father? It's a lie, I know he is. <laughs> no. It's not Mr. Lang. <laughs> Mr. Hodges was stuck with the same question. If he was or was not the father of the defendant's one-month-old daughter, and if you are thinking, why was there doubt in the first place? It turns out that Mr. Plaintiff had caught his girlfriend cheating, broken over such a revelation. He chose to begin like this. Cheated on me and I caught her with multiple guys. She had one hidden in the room, and whenever we first got together, she said that she would never hurt me or cheat on me. She would be truthful and yet she's lied to me left and right. Miss Willard, you kept lying and you kept cheating? Um, no, I did not. I had a guy over at my house, yes. He was visiting because he was a childhood friend. That is a major no right from the start, because the baby daddy testified that his woman was fast, as right into days of meeting up if they got all cozy up. And we know, man, they might run after with these flags, but they don't parade around with them. No, we are not aggregating, and the defendant had been cooking this at her place. Miss Blevins, I understand that you are the one who pushed your son to open this case. Yes, Your Honor. And why did you do that? Um, because I knew that she had been cheating on him. He had caught her with another guy that she said was a friend, but yet he was hidden in her house when he when my son got there. You found him hiding in the house? Yes, Your Honor. Hiding in the house where? In her mother's bedroom. 
Her mother also has her hands in the dirt. At this moment, the court appeared to be persuaded that Mr. Hodges was correct. But wait, even though the alleged knew that Miss Willard was loose as a goose, Mr. Hodges got engaged to the defendant. When they got engaged that my son didn't know about. So you were engaged to Mr. Hodges, but you were married to another guy at the time? Yes, Your Honor. I feel like he has been deceived and took advantage of. What was your first impression when you met Ms. Willard? What did you think? I thought she was sneaky. She always kept her phone on her. She um, never let him get a hold of it. And when she was on it and he would come around, she would hide. An endless flow of tricky moves. What's going on? However, the young baby daddy's mother jumped in for the rescue and told her that the defendant double-timed her son. The potential bubby even had brought text evidence to prove her testimony. But the other grandma wasn't ready to back down either. Watch how she gets down. Were you dating this man and Mr. Hodges at the same time? No, Your Honor. Your Honor. So why is this man saying this? He's given all these specific details to Miss Blevins. He was at the hospital when Lillian was born. Yes, I was with him at that time. Your Honor, he's, Your Honor, he's saying that. He's saying that because he wants my daughter. I've been through it with this person. When, I think it's in February, right after Christmas sometime, when she, she didn't even know she was pregnant at that time. She left my house. Suppose there wasn't enough lying already. The defendant has also hidden a baby at this point that she had before meeting Mr. Hodges. Despite all this, the climax arrives when the defendant also conceals the birth of a one-month-old daughter from Mr. Hodges. What a train wreck. This is too much lying. I know. <laughs> this, is, this is just too much lying. Now, I heard about five lies already. What is going on? Why are you texting him like the baby is isn't born when the baby is born. Okay, he's married now, and I just didn't want to break up a marriage when he found out he had a kid by another person. Um, that's, that's it. She, but you told him, I'm pregnant eight months. Regardless of every hard reality, Mr. Hodges is faced by the defendant when asked how he feels after also developing a bond with the beautiful baby. He sounded shattered with enough proof on the table. There is no stopping this DNA conclusion. The case of Hodges versus Willard. When it comes to one month old Lillian Willard, Mr. Hodges, you are the father. We have the answer we need it. And it was actually the answer all of you wanted. You okay, honey? No, I'm fine. I want to meet with you both in my chambers. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. Infertility and infidelity both had convinced Mr. Ball that he was not the father of Miss Cox's three-year-old daughter with multiple men on the paternity list. The plaintiff refuses to play along with the mind games of his ex-girlfriend. Sounds messy, right? All right, now, Mr. Ball, how did you first hear that Miss Cox was sleeping with multiple men? Well, during the time of my incarceration, Your Honor, you know, I was, we were talking every day, you know, morning, noon, night, we would talk every day, and maybe within uh, the last 90 days of me, you know, serving my time, I was getting letters from her best friend stating to me that she was sleeping with other men, going out with other men, and that everything wasn't, you know, what I was being told. It wasn't what it seemed. Okay, so the girlfriend's best friend's claims caused a stir in the allegations. This was refuted by the defendant, who disclosed that Mr. Ball was certain about her loyalties before meeting the other man at the grocery store. Whoa. And so hold on, Miss Cox, I need to clarify. While he was away, were you in a relationship with another man? We wasn't, we was in a physical relationship. It wasn't like we weren't together, well, nothing like that. Sexual relationship. And he knew about this. Once did I, you tell no, Mr. Ball? No, no. Yes, I did. I wrote no. him a letter and I told him everything that no. was going on. And he wrote back and still agreed to come home to me after no. hearing everything as long as everything was put to a stop. What just happened? He was tipped by the mother of his child, who happens to be the best friend we all have heard about. Now I'm also thinking that the dad got played, but the plaintiff, because there was some obscene evidence in the situation. Grabbing pictures off of our computer and I pull up a picture, not not one picture, he multiple knew I was pictures. Hanging out with the guy. He knew pictures. about the the guy. Of her and not only just that guy, another guy. No, and another guy. guy. And I it asked her about guy. it. So let me ask you this. What was in the picture? Her arms around guys, kissing around guys. No, it wasn't no pictures him. like that. And the pictures were deleted. They were in the recycling no, bin. He was them. looking for a reason I to argue. Them. It is now clear that Mr. Ball was cheating with the defendant's best friend, something we all suspected. It turns out that the suspect was a deadbeat who was cheating on the baby mama right under her roof and was now trying to play the victim under the situation. <laughs> I took care you? of her because he was too lazy to get up, of, up off of his butt oh. to go and get a job. So when I first his... came home, I wasn't looking for a job. When yeah. I was with her, when we were looking for a job, she was sitting right outside the place texting a dude. One place. Sitting One down there texting. And, and with because you, I was texting just another you, guy, because you, I was texting another you, guy while he was guy. in the place filling out a job application, guy. that was but his excuse to stop looking for a job. Well, ain't that overwhelming? Up next, when the judge asked Mr. Ball to participate in the birth of the daughter, the defendant responded, yes. According to Ms. Cox, 
he refused to sign the birth certificate, and even denied a DNA test. It looks like Mr. Lazy Bones was genuinely avoiding the responsibility. Miss Cox, when your daughter Gabrielle Gabby was born, was Mr. Ball there? Yes, ma'am, he was. Yes, ma'am, he did. My water broke February 10, 2010, during intercourse with Mr. Ball, and um, he drove me to the hospital. He was there the whole three days I was in the hospital. He drove me home from the hospital, and we stayed with him. He never expressed to me in the hospital that he had doubt or anything. These are pictures of him and me and, and, and my daughter Gabby at the hospital after she was born. Another fact was revealed that while Mr. Balls was engaged to another woman, he was still fooling with the mommy at the podium. Wow, that's a good way to not have a baby with someone you don't trust. Oh, and the fiance part. Good luck explaining this to her man. It's never about my child. It's always about me because we were just sleeping together a week ago. A week ago? What? Yeah, a week ago. A we week were just ago? at your mother's house sleeping together a week ago. A week ago? Wait a minute. Where were we not, Miss Montgomery? At Montgomery's her ago? mother's house? At his mother's house, a week yes. Ago? A week ago? A week ago, yes. You were at his mother's house? A week ago, no. Yes. No. We were. Yes, no. we were. A After, week ago. A week ago. No. Might have been like nine days ago. No. A week and a half ago. No. During Mr. That time, Ball. Yeah, it was not nine days ago, Your Honor. That is a harsh disgrace on Mr. Ball. It appears as though he was staying away from liability and was taking advantage of Ms. Cox, no matter how much you tried to manipulate your way out. Truth always finds its way. Comes to three-year-old Gabrielle. It has been determined that Mr. Ball, you are her father. <laughs> news you wanted? Yes. So understand this. Whatever the doubt, that excuse is gone. And you're her daddy, her father, and she's counting on you. Brother, Have you found something? a job yet? Ms. Whitman was in front of Judge Lake with her no-shame attitude, claiming that there was no way that the defendant could be the father of her one-month-old daughter. With both men warped around this mommy's fingers, the trial proceeded like this. Well, me and Ms. Mr. Mitchell met at a bus station when I was coming from Chicago to Arkansas. And we kind of like kicked it off quick and became girlfriend and boyfriend. And two months into relationship, I met Mr. Anderson. Anderson. And we were pretty much like friends. And because I thought Mr. Mitchell was cheating, I kind of went to him and we were texting. And, and you, so then you start giving Mr. Anderson a little bit more attention. Well, that is just bizarre, cheating on someone you love based on speculations. It was clear that Ms. Whitman needed to reconsider her life choice because she was now stuck in one of the messiest paternity confusion. Well, yeah, explain I, yes. to the court. Look, we are all, this is a small town. A small town, everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows who drives what. This particular person I know stayed with a week. Really? And you know who this guy is? I know him, he's one of my cousins. So one of your cousins stayed up there with her for a week? Yes. Did your cousin tell you that he slept with her? Yeah, we even gave each other daps and everything. <laughs> The woman had the same jingle playing, you know, bluntly refusing everything. So, well, let's skip to the pregnancy test part. Turns out that, although she sent pictures of her pregnancy test to both Mr. Mapson and Mr. Anderson, just in two weeks, she changed her mind. Did you have any idea that she was sleeping with other people? I kind of had suspicions because of our relationship. It was a long distance relationship. And after a while, you know how long distance relationship is. Did you show up to the hospital and participate in the birth with her? At first, my attention was to show up at the hospital, but just knowing that it could have been somebody else's kid, I didn't want to just involve myself. With both fathers in denial, someone had to take responsibility for the child. Anyway, Mr. Anderson was not ready to play along at all, as the existence of the child was running his current relationship. Still, no one was ready to pay for the test. I went through the whole birth alone, the whole nine months. He even he even stopped talking to me, and I couldn't I couldn't get a hold of Mr. Anderson because he blocked all communication. Facebook, telephone, yeah, and he that. stopped answering the phone for me, Mr. Maps. The reason I blocked off because of the stuff she was doing on Facebook. She was, you know what I'm saying, just out there just saying, this is my baby daddy, knowing she been with other I've people. never put on Facebook you know that you're my baby she, daddy. That is toxic. Compromise on her daughter's right to know who the father is. Which mother does that? Upon the judge asking Ms. Whitman if there is any chance that someone else might be the father, she further escalates the doubts like this. So you are positive. Yes, Your Honor. That there is absolutely no other possibility, no other man besides these two could be the father of your child. That's right, Your Honor. There's one. There's no, another. it's not. You, you agree with Mr. Anderson, Mr. Mapson? You believe just, there's a third? All I know is about Mr. Anderson. I don't know nothing about nobody. There's else. no one else. People, That's I was me. texting people. People might have come over. You heard her. There was another person who stayed over for a week. See, we told you no shame for her game. This made the judge more suspicious, and she finally had to pull the trigger by calling in for the result, which went like this. As to whether Mr. Mapson or Mr. Anderson 
is the biological father of one month old Michaela. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Anderson, you are not her father. Mr. Mapson, you are her father. Can I come up and shake his hand? He'd like to shake your like hand. That. 